they're not coming to your next sprint review. I don't care what kind of bacon and uh, maple donuts you bring. We don't have any points on the board. So do you skip halftime? Been fun giving some uh, advice on the events in Scrum and uh, the sprint review is a big one, especially for product owners. I, I tend to be biased towards uh, product owners really needing to get this right. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm curious what y'all uh, think. How would you give sprint reviews its uh, its credibility? You know, make it worth its while. Jason, you got thoughts on this? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, my advice on, on Scrum events often fall into a pattern uh, a pattern answer, which is break out of the pattern. <laughs> I see okay. a lot of teams <laughs> just going through the motions and doing the same thing over and over and, and not getting creative with, with the meeting. Not that creativity is the point, but maybe that's my top tip is, is zoom out and say, what are we trying to accomplish here? Are we just trying to justify our existence by saying, look, we, we, we spent time doing stuff. Um, you know, with the sprint review, you should be getting feedback from stakeholders. And if you're not getting good feedback, and I don't mean attaboys and pat on, but pats on the back, although those are nice when, when they're given, but like actionable feedback, what could be better? How can we improve this? Um, should this be, should things on our product backlog be reordered? Like you, you sometimes need to really work to engage your stakeholders and get good quality feedback. One of my top tips is I, I've added into my sprint reviews before a test drive section where instead of just showing the increment and showing what we've produced, I actually ask my stakeholders to use the product. So the, what that looks like is, hey, we're going to show you a bunch of functionality we added, and now we're going to put a link up and ask you to click that link, assuming this is a software product, and, and do the following five actions. And those five actions were specifically chosen to exercise the new functionality. When I've done that, we've learned a lot from our stakeholders. Like, oh, yeah, this thing that you did, um, this is only going to work for 80% of the cases. There's a whole 20% case that you didn't factor in here. Good to know. We wouldn't have known that otherwise had you not given us that feedback. So... When you can get your stakeholders to use the increment, not just show it to them, I, I think the quality of your sprint review and your feedback goes way up. I don't know. What do you think, Rob? Yeah, sprint review is, all right, so let's look at why you're there. Um, I always love talking about the why. You're there to review an increment. You're there to review a usable increment that meets your quality standard. Meaning, I could go home, sleep at night, and not worry a single bit that my stakeholders are now playing with this so-called usable increment. Now, 99% of the problems that I see with Scrum teams is they don't even produce a thing in the first place. And the mm. reason for that is numerous. It's your org structure. It's the way you break down work. It's the type of work that you, you're you doing. So, you know, I, I, I'm a database team and I build a database increment, but my user has absolutely no understanding of what they're looking at when I show schema in a sprint review. So if you want sprint reviews to go well, you got to show new problems that have been solved for your customers. And... You've got a month to do this according to Scrum, one month time box at a maximum. You can have, you know, around 10 people on your team working on this thing. If you break down work small enough that something can be done in a sprint, your reviews are going to be a whole lot more interesting. Again, you have no increment to review or nothing a customer cares about. They're not coming to your next sprint review. I don't care what kind of bacon and uh, maple donuts you bring. So have those increments and your sprint review will be reviewing something useful. There's this idea of the happy path getting to the review with a done increment and, and everything went well, but sometimes it doesn't go well. Uh, uh, using the football analogy that Jason likes to use for the daily scrum, sometimes we get to halftime and we're behind. We don't have any points on the board. So do you skip halftime, you know, since nobody's interested, or do you go ahead and conduct a review of what just happened and say, hey, oh. we don't have a done increment. What occurred during the sprint that got in the way of that? There might be organizational impediments that got in the way. I want to know about that stuff. Um, I want stakeholders to be able to be invested in helping us be able to remove those barriers to be able to get that value stream freed up again. Because likely there's something broken, something wrong, and we need help so this doesn't happen again. We need to reduce risk. Uh, and then I, I like to think of this as a, an overall, like a, a business meeting that's for the purpose of refinement with stakeholders. So think of this as a mm. refinement meeting with your stakeholders to say, based on our goals, are we still going the right direction? Um, can we see what's coming up next? Likely the next, I don't know, cluster of, of product backlog items and, and make strategic decisions based on direction and um, having something more substantial and uh, you know, not think of it as such a you know stuffy 
demo with we're going through the checklist, but engage. I mean, we should feel like we did something together with everybody who attended, not just a, a show and tell or just a demo or we don't have something done. So skip sprint review, the review this month. Uh, no, make, make something of it. Um, we actually do have something that uh, will be beneficial for you. So those who are viewing, uh, we've uh, put together a sprint review template. It is not intended to be the gold standard, but it'll certainly get you thinking differently about how you approach your event. So that'll be in the description uh, below. Be sure to check that out. Uh, that could be a useful tool for you. Click the thumbs up to let us know you like the video. Subscribe if you'd like more of our videos in your feed. And maybe even hit that bell to get notified when we've got more videos for you. Sometimes YouTube notifications don't actually go out and you won't be notified. So we've solved this problem. Click the link in the description to join our exclusive mailing list so we can send you an email every time one of our newest videos comes out. You'll be glad you did.